When considering endpoint protection products, the ability to stop ransomware should rank high on the list of required capabilities. Because ransomware is so destructive and can cause such a huge interruption to business operations, CrowdStrike's endpoint protection platform, Falcon, has developed a layered approach to stopping ransomware that protects customers with multiple ransomware detection capabilities. Let's look at these different methods now. In this first scenario, we'll rely on CrowdStrike's machine learning capabilities to detect all types of ransomware. We've downloaded and then manipulated some of the most common and infamous ransomware samples available. Manipulating the samples essentially changes the file hash and creates an unknown zero-day file. This is a technique used by hackers to evade signature-based detection products. CrowdStrike's machine learning will detect ransomware and malware whether they are known or unknown. As we double-click on each file, an error message appears, indicating that the file can't be run and the file is also deleted. File deletion and quarantine is important. Many of these samples often come disguised as harmless attachments. Being able to quarantine the file gives the security team the opportunity to investigate further and prevents users from finding ways to launch the malicious application. In the Falcon interface, new alerts corresponding to the files appear and can be used for investigation. By clicking on the alert, a detailed process tree becomes visible, along with a details pane on the right side. The information in this area can be used to identify which process started the application, the file hash, associated behaviors, command line arguments, and more. Providing this type of detail in a single view allows for rapid decisions to be made that protect the entire organization. In this alert, we see the sample for Zcrypt. In the alert below, we see information for WannaCry, the ransomware that made the news last year and brought so many organizations down due to its ability to propagate through a network without the need for user interaction. CrowdStrike's machine learning protected the system from all of these ransomware samples. In the next two scenarios, we'll highlight Falcon's behavior-based detection capability. This type of capability protects users from zero-day and targeted samples of ransomware. To illustrate the behavior-based detection capabilities, we simply disable the machine learning sliders on the configuration page. Then, we'll enable behavior-based detection. At CrowdStrike, we call these indicators of attack. Unlike indicators of compromise, indicators of attack, or IOAs, can identify malicious behavior as it's happening and put a stop to it. CrowdStrike has hundreds of IOAs built into the product. We save the changes to the policy and this time move to a second system. With machine learning disabled and behavior detections enabled, we'll run a locky sample from the command prompt. Moving back to the Falcon user interface, we select new detections to see the new alerts. Again, clicking on the alert expands the selection so we can get even more details. Here we see that instead of a detection based on machine learning, Falcon has identified a process typically associated with the Locky ransomware family. Another layer of prevention provided by Falcon is the ability to detect ransomware that is delivered via a script. This type of delivery is often done to hide from traditional endpoint protection solutions, making them particularly dangerous. In this scenario, we'll use CryptoShell, a PowerShell or script-based ransomware similar to PowerWare that made the news in 2017. After running the script, an error message appears in the command prompt and the CrowdStrike notification from the system tray appears, letting the user know malicious behavior was prevented. In the Falcon user interface, we see a new alert associated with the most recent scenario that identified the malicious behavior associated with CryptoShell. The behavior detected was backup deletion, a common behavior in ransomware that deletes backup files so the system cannot be recovered easily. Defense in depth is often cited as a best practice, at CrowdStrike, we couldn't agree more. This is why we provide multiple layers of protection capabilities against ransomware in the same product.